simple and classy elegant black and white dutch pour blowout so loving this color combination and the details in this is so beautiful check out today's creation video you're gonna love it hello everyone how are you all doing this is your girl camille and i want to say welcome back to my channel today i'm working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and i'm using some leftover paints today okay so the base color that you see there it's a custom mix gray you guys know how i like to scrape my my canvas if i have to scrape it or you know drippings from my table i mix together to create beautiful um you know base colors for my painting I did went and add some white in this to tone it down a bit but I am so loving this color right now. So the base color like I mentioned is from my, my, my scrapings, my drippings and yeah add some white to it to create some beautiful base color. So don't you waste your paint guys you know you can scrape your canvas if you're not happy with it or you know what save your drippings put them all together create beautiful base. So today's pour, today's Dutch pour spin out art is I'm just using just one color here. Well, actually I was using black and white and I'm using some leftover paints as well. I have pewter in here. I have metallic black by Artist Loft and I also have a leftover purple, metallic purple by Martha Stewart that I went and add some black to it. All right, so if you guys see the um, like a mauveish looking, metallic looking purple in the painting, well, yes, it's because I, I had some leftover purple, add some black to it, and it created that beautiful color. So I'm just gonna go and blow this out, and I just want you guys to watch all the way to the end. I do love the result, do love the center of this flower. I love all the details in here. I love you know how you got that effect when the blow dry give you those stripy effect in the flower i love it i do hope you guys um are inspired to try this and of course if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give this one a thumbs up share with your friends and family and of course if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell hit all the whole fun jazz so that whenever i post a new video guys you are not left out you are included you know when i post a video and you can come on board and say hi just you know interact with me in the comment section let me know how this one makes you feel will this be a technique that you want to try i've learned this from watching rinse cadona so it's not my technique here this is what youtube is all about we're here to inspire each others and uh you know just to Try something different okay tell yourself that you can do it get up and do it and give it a try and guys remember that art is therapy you know feel relaxed be relaxed enjoy the moment all right guys so stick around all the way to the end and i do hope to see you for the close-up of the wet result and the dried results so i'll see you at the end bye
wow here it is the close-up of the wet result check out the center of this flower it's beautiful you guys remember I was telling you about the purple that I added the black to so it's creating um, that shade there I can't really tell if it's mauve looking but it's metallic um, you know and the pewter underneath this so the pewter is like a mixture of silver and um, like a bluish silver so it's just beautiful and of course the black mixing with the white giving you that gray like a that burnish looking gray I do love it what do you guys have to say about this one I love the edges of these petals I love the lines you remember what I was saying about the lines how the blow dryer blow it out and give you that beautiful effect somewhat like a like a fairy kind of a feathery effect I love it really happy with this piece let me know what you guys have to say about this one and of course I dip my finger in the center to help to pull the cells out a bit more let me know guys if you do like this uh, video and you know give this video a thumbs up all right and the dried result is coming up and here it is the dried result there is no finish on this one there's no resin or varnish as yet I just have it there on my fireplace you can see all the shimmer in the metallics that I use in here beautiful really soft delicate elegant classy at the same time this piece speaks so much and it would make a statement in any home or you know workplace or anywhere this is the perfect um, statement piece I do love it oh my goodness such a beauty I do love the background do love that base color it's beautiful let me know what you guys think about this one can you see that purple mauve looking color you know and the difference in color when it hit that white and all the metallic shimmer in here it's so beautiful really love this one um, yeah we're really super excited let me know what you guys think about this piece in the comment section below and of course if you haven't subscribed as yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time on Camila Moy Art bye